hi it's feature from soulmate welcome to my channel if you want to see how i make this beautiful easy mermaid skirt please stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do i'll be uploading more videos and make sure to turn on your notification bell so that each time i upload new videos you get notified first You will need your basic skate block to do this. I've got a tutorial on this channel on how you can make one. I'll leave a link in the description below and a link above as well. So starting with the skate front, trace around your block as usual making sure to mark your notches and the darts. Lift your block. Now measure down for your skirt length, I'm using 95 cm with your square ruler, just square a line down across and square another line down from the hip line. Draw in your dart, square in your hip line and your hemline I'm using two centimeters hem allowance now from the waistline measure down for 45 centimeters this works for most people so this is where our flare is gonna start and square line across like I'm doing so we went down from the waistline for 45 centimeters From this point, come in by 4 cm and put a mark. Now connect this point to the hip line with a straight line like I'm doing here. With your curve ruler, smoothen this curve. So we came in 4 cm and this whole part is out. Measure for your quarter hip measurement and we're going to add it to the side seam like I'm doing here. Put a mark. Connect these two points with a straight line. With your calf ruler, smoothen this point here with a nice calf. Now measure from this point to the hemline and keep that measurement. We're going to use the same measurement from this point along the slanted line. Put a mark. Now square a line down from this point. With your calf ruler, connect a nice calf. Now we're going to continue our hem allowance of 2 cm following the new calf line there. Next I'm putting in my hour punch for the dart which is 1 cm up from the dart tip. And drawing in my grain line parallel to the center front. Adding my notches to the pattern and labeling the pattern front skirt cut one on fold and I put my initial cut around your pattern and so the center front is going to be on fold And our front skirt is finished now we're moving on to the back moving on to the back trace around your block as usual making sure to mark the notches and the dots lift your block now lengthen your skirt to your desired length like we did with the front I'm using 95 centimeters still Square line down across 
and square another line down from the hip line like we did with the front skirt. Draw in your dart, square in your hip line and draw in your hem allowance which is 2 centimeters. Now measure down for 45 centimeters like we did with our front skirt to mark our flare line. Square line across. Come in from this point by 4 centimeters. Put a mark. Connect this point to the hip line with a straight line. So 4 centimeters. We came in 4 centimeters. With the calf ruler, correct this calf. Measure for our quarter hip measurement and we're just gonna extend with that amount from the side seam. Connect this point to the new point we just marked with a straight line. Now measure this distance like we did with the front skirt and transfer the same distance to the slanted line like I'm doing here square line down with your calf ruler connect this calf now completing our hem allowance there following the calf line two centimeters and smoothening this point with a nice calf so this part is not included in our pattern anymore adding an hour punch one centimeter up from the dart tip and drawing in our grain line parallel to the center back adding notches to the pattern and labeling the pattern back skirt cut one pair and I put my initial. Now cutting around the pattern. And our back skirt is finished. Now moving on to making our skirt waist facings. So I'm going to be using my owl punch and my pen. Draw from the center back seam around your waistline to the first leg of the dart. Put a mark with your hour punch, close the dart like I'm doing here. Now continue tracing the rest of the waistline and to the side seam like I've just done there. Lift your block. Our facing is going to be 6 cm wide so from the top line we're going to go down 7 cm and follow through the calf like I'm doing there. Meaning we've got our 6 cm wide facing plus 1 cm seam allowance for the waistline. Now just labeling the center back and side seam to avoid confusion and adding the grain line parallel to the center back. And labeling the pattern piece, back facing, cut one pair, plus one pair fusing, and I put my initial, adding the notches there, and cutting around the pattern piece. Now onto the front facing, trace from the center front to the waistline and first leg of the dart, pivot the dart out and finish off the facing to the side seam like I'm doing here. Lift your block. Now labeling the center front and side seam. Now measuring down 7 cm down from the waistline, following through the calf like we did with the back. Labeling the pattern piece, front facing, cut one on fold, plus one fusing, 
on fold two. And I put my initial. So the center front is going to be on fold and adding the grain line parallel to the center front. Adding notches. Now cutting around the pattern. And our facing pieces are finished. So our patterns are finished and now we're moving on to sewing our mermaid skirt. Now moving on to making our mermaid skirt. So what we need are your completed patterns, your fabric, a zipper, and your usual cutting tools. So now we're going to move on to cutting our fabrics. All our pattern pieces are cut and ready to sew so the first thing we're going to do is to take all our facing pieces and go ahead and interface them so let's do that okay so that's done we applied the interfacing one so we're going to put this on the side for now next we're going to take both our front and back skirts and we're going to go on and sew our dots okay so whilst we're there, we're going to take both our big pieces and we're going to go ahead and overlock along the zip allowance here for both pieces. Let's do that. Okay, so that's done. We finished sewing on our darts for both the front and back skirts. Okay, so next we're going to take both our back pieces and we're going to lay them one on top of the other right side facing then we're going to pin along the whole center back seam here make sure to mark where your zipper notches are along the center back seam so I put double pins here to show where my zipper notches are. So now take this to the sewing machine and we're going to do a basting stitch which is the longest stitch on your sewing machine from the top to the zipper notch. Back tack there and then we're going to use our regular sewing stitch all the way down to the hem. Okay, let's go and do that. And whilst we are there, we're going to take our facing pieces and we're going to lay them right sides facing like this. Pin along the side seams. And we're going to go ahead to our sewing machine and sew along the side seams here with a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. When we finish with that, we're going to go onto the right side of our facing piece and we're going to overlock the whole bottom edge. Okay, let's do that. Okay now, so we finished sewing on the facing pieces and we overlock the whole edge like I said. So we're putting this on the side for now. And we've also managed to sew the center back seam. So now we're going to take our invisible zipper. Now make sure you locate your zipper notches. From there, you've got to leave about 2.5 to 5 centimeters of an extension for your zipper here below the zipper notches. And we're going to align the center of our zipper with the center back seam and pin along. So now take this to the sewing machine and just do a first row of stitching just to attach the zipper to the center back seam allowance here to the zipper allowance okay when we finish that we have to make sure that we take off the stitching that we put here up to the zipper notch which was the basting stitch and then we're going to go ahead and finish off sewing our zipper with the zipper foot i'm gonna do all that now 
Okay, now so I finished sewing on my invisible slipper and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the ends of my slipper here. Now with our back piece facing up like this, we're going to take our front piece and we're going to lay it on top of it, right side facing. Matching our side seams and we're going to pin along the side seams. Now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew along the side seams and overlock them. Let's do that. Okay, now so we finished sewing our side seams and we overlock them. So next we're going to turn our skirt to the right side. So next take your facing piece, we're going to align it along the whole waistline. So first open your zipper like this. And we're just going to match the edges and pin along. Now we're going to pin along the whole waistline. Okay, so now take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew from the zipper allowance all the way to the corner and then we go all the way around the waistline and back to the zipper allowance here. After that, we're going to understitch the whole waistline. So just roll your facing on top of the seam allowance like this and sew along the facing side. Let's go and do that. Then we're also going to hem our skirt. So we're going to do an overlock stitch the whole way around. After that, we do a blind hem stitch. Let's go and do all that. Okay, now, so that's done. And I clipped the whole waistline and I also went ahead and did an under stitching so for this waistline seam I also overlocked it because it was fraying a lot that's why otherwise you can do without overlocking it so now we're going to trim a little bit at the edges here and then we're going to turn the facing inside yes. Now take this to the iron and iron the waistline nice and flat. I'm gonna do that now. Okay, now, so that's done. Our waistline is ironed nice and flat. So the final step is for us to attach the facing to the skirt, okay? So we do a stitch in the ditch here, making sure to catch the facing at the side seams, okay? Let's do that. And our skirt is finished and we've also finished off the hem here we just did a blind hem stitch right round okay so our skirt is finished and I'm so happy with the result thank you